hi everyone so it's three days before the month of november ends and like i can't believe the year is already coming to an end and then we're almost in december already so i sat down yesterday and i was just thinking of how this year has been like you know like we were all for most of us we're all excited to say oh 2020 oh it's gonna be an amazing year it's gonna be so different we had our expectations we had um dreams desires that we're actually trusting god for and then as the year is coming to an end most of us are feeling like oh god but i've been praying i've been trusting you for this and then the year is coming to an end so what's going on so um i had one of those episodes where i was just like asking god a lot of questions concerning um the things that i was actually trusting him for and the holy spirit actually like pointed out to me to say you know most times when somebody says blessings when you think of blessings we actually look at just the physical things cars job money we don't really sit down to actually like think of the spiritual things or the unseen things that god has actually like given us like for me the year 2020 has been a year of stretching like a year where god has actually stretched me i was actually um joking with somebody and said oh 2020 has actually been a year where god has actually stretch me like chewing gum like up to like just beyond because <laughs> i can't even say i've been strained stretched like a rubber band because it comes to a point where you can't stretch it anymore but then that's just be like you know chewing gum every side <laughs> but i am grateful for that stretch because i have grown from the stretch can growth that i have i wouldn't have actually ever thought i would actually like grow that big or grow that much so despite everything going on despite maybe some of the things that i'm still like trusting god for i'm grateful that this year he has increased me he has enlarged me he has allowed me to grow he has been deliberate to ensure that i grow i increase i mature and that's one of the things i'm actually so grateful for and then as i was thinking of that like i was just thinking back on how last year around a time like this i wouldn't have actually sat down or actually imagined to say i'll be in the place where i am today if somebody actually asked me to say oh this is gonna happen to you or this is what you're go gonna be able to do or even if somebody actually just pointed out to say oh next year you'll actually be like sharing the word of god or encouraging people on youtube instagram facebook i would actually laugh and be like ah you're joking like there's no way there's no way i'll actually like go out there and actually do that but then here we are so as I was still like just thinking about all that and thinking of the many things that God has actually done inside because it's easy to point out all the things the things that God has done for you on the outside but the things that he has actually been working on me in this inside I actually just my heart was just like flooding with gratitude and then Holy Spirit pointed to me to say that that is actually the key to walking in the supernatural the key to actually swimming in miracles and gratitude if we actually sit down to thank god for all the things that he has actually done if we look back and actually just begin to count our blessings and name them one by one because you could have all the physical blessings cars riches wealth influence but then it's actually the things that money cannot buy that actually are really more important you could have all the money in the world but have no joy have no peace have no happiness you could have all the wealth in the world but have no friends to actually like enjoy that wealth with have no family have no you know love somebody who genuinely loves you you could just have people who just love you for the money so sometimes 
instead of like just complaining to God to say God you haven't done this let's just sit down and actually thank him for the things that he has actually done the things that we actually take for granted the things that we think are little but they're actually so much more so since yesterday I've actually just been in God's presence just thanking him just grateful you know just grateful for all the battles that he's been fighting for me that I don't even know for the fact that I'm even here alive the fact that I know him I know I know him as my Lord and personal Savior the fact that I can actually do this video and encourage encourage you encourage people out there so I guess it's really the little things in life that actually mean the most that's the lesson that I've actually learned the Holy Spirit has been actually teaching me so whatever you're going through whatever you're trusting God for whatever your expectation whatever deadline that you have or whatever hurt whatever I met expectation that you've gone through from the start of the year or whatever you are actually like waiting on God for before the year runs out go to him with a heart of gratitude just thank him just praise him just count your blessing just begin to just say God I'm thankful because we know that when we thank God for his finger he actually releases his hand so if you thank him for this he will do so much more so it is my prayer for you and I today that I will actually do in the presence of God with a heart of gratitude. We'll go to him and just thank him. Just look back at all the things that he has done and trust that if he actually did that before, then he will do it again because he is faithful. He's not a man that he should lie. So have a blessed weekend. Bye.